Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome here to Bangor, Wisconsin. Ken Manning, Western Wisconsin Video Productions, as we're here in a tape-delayed broadcast of the Bangor-Brookwood volleyball matchup. With me, head coach Dave Waraxa of Brookwood. And Dave, thanks for taking the time out here to talk a little bit about Brookwood volleyball. Excited to do that. Thanks for coming out and making it available for people to watch when they don't get a chance to get out here. Yeah, you betcha. It's always a blast that we've got some uh, real good uh, things to talk about here about uh, the volleyball team. Uh, tell us a little bit about the start of that of the young season here. Well, so far we, um, we've had some challenges and we've had a lot of successes and we've had a lot of growth. So it's been a good a good first half of the season. Um, got the injury bug hit us when we were down in on Alaska. Ellie, um, our middle, um, ended up rolling an ankle before we played Bangor. Oh boy! Uh, down there, and and uh, it was a couple week recovery time. And wow. She's back on board and helping us out in the middle. And and uh, and as far as our, you know, the rest of our play, we've been scrappy. We've been able to hit the ball. We just have to be aggressive for the entire match and not be afraid to win. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about uh, the Omni Center, uh, that two-day tournament. That had to be a bit of a grind, as they say. Yeah, so the, the at the Omni Center, we play um, uh, a two-day two day, uh, tournament. You round robin with, uh, or um, a pool play with five, um, five teams. You play four on the first day, then you play one the next day in the morning, and then they seed you according to how you finished in your pool. Mm. And um, so we, we, um, we, the first match of the day we played Sparta, took them to three, then we had some success against, um, oh man, it was, uh, we had some success against a couple of schools. I'm trying to remember who they were off top, I can't remember. Yeah. And then, um, and uh, one of them was uh, Mineral Point, who's a, a, a sectional uh, or a regional team that we were gonna have to play. Oh, wow. We didn't, fair very we didn't win but we had a, we learned a lot about ourselves that day um, so then we went two and two on day one mm -hmm. came back to play a Webster team in the beginning of the day on Thursday and uh, I told them I said just swing hard play hard and see what happens <laughs> and we knocked them down um, in sets two and three and we ended up winning and currently they're ranked I think um, top ten in D4, so darn. we did we did a pretty good job there. Yeah. So um, then we finished that day off with the win against Bangor, and um, a three set match with Fall Creek. So it was ex it was an exciting uh, couple of days. Yeah. Um, well, feel good about that. You know, I would I would certainly think so. And a team here that uh, probably uh, you've got some with experience, some without, uh, which is always the mix at the beginning of the year uh, because there's always that. Uh, our, uh, revolving door you might say as the seniors move out uh, how do you think the kids are gelling right now compared to the Omni Center to today's or tonight's match we're still working on getting the gelling we're still like shook up oil and water <laughs> how about that huh yeah that's but, a good one yeah but we're 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 working on that um, we're worried worrying I think we're starting to worry a little bit less about me and a little bit more about we mm -hmm. um, we need to be more about we to have success against the tougher schools. Um, and uh, so that's, that's been, a, it's been a theme at practice a lot. And um, it's been a challenge to get everybody to be gelled the way you'd want them to be gelled. Um, but it's coming, it's coming, it's way better than it was. And I, I can foresee it being even better for the stretch down coming up. It, uh, it must have started to work a little bit uh, with that Seneca tournament where you came away with uh, the top the top dog there. That was pretty cool. Yeah, the Seneca tournament um, was uh, it was surprising uh, how well we started playing at the um, especially at the Cashton match. Um, you know, th there was a period of time where they were um, drilling line on us, and uh, we adjusted our defense, and we weren't quite getting there at first, and then. We started picking it up, and that made the difference. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. we went from having a concerned look on our face to a whole bunch of smiles, <laughs> and that was really nice. <laughs> I really like the the thought process, as you mentioned, about getting after things and being aggressive in that. How in the world do you instill that uh, in the kids? You know that I, I have to. I'll have to say that that wasn't me. Those kids had that. Um, I think I realized that 
in the Sparta match mm -hmm. on the very first match of the season at the Omni Center. Um, Callista went to the floor and missed the ball. Oh, wow. She started growling and making this noise. She was so mad at the girl for tipping on her, and she was mad that she missed the ball. Um, she, I, I saw it in her eyes, and she called for the ball, and she hit the ball right at that kid <laughs> and looked at that kid afterwards like, don't chip on me again. <laughs> so that was, um, that was exciting. Um, that's, a, that's, a, that's a trait that a, a, a coach loves yep. in female athletes. Yep, yep, yep. you got to love that attitude with that. So tell us a little bit about tonight's matchup and uh, what do you kind of see forthcoming? Um, this Bangor team is way better than their record shows um, um, they can't be taken they can't be taken for granted at all um, I feel like we match up well with them and I feel like they would probably say the same with us and um, my guess is that coach coach Amy has their team watching film and knows where we're strong and knows where we're weak and they're gonna try to pick on everything they can pick on to get a win out of us tonight our deal is to make a different maybe make a different look tonight um, and but still play great defense and uh, and 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 serve tough, um, tougher than maybe we typically serve. Mm -hmm. um, that'll be that'll be the difference for us. I I, I believe we can we can uh, we can make that if we if we if we change the style of play just a little bit as far as being aggressive, but maybe just watch and see uh, where we're putting the ball at the beginning of the match and that might open up some stuff on the outside. So mm -hmm. we'll probably go a little heavy middle at the beginning and then start going back out to the outside after the middles know that they have to contend with our middles. Yeah, yeah. Just It just feels like it's going to be a fun match tonight. Uh, we look forward to that. I look forward to not only tonight, uh, but next week. We've got, uh, it's a week and a half of uh, Bangor Volleyball as we're, we'll be doing uh, the live stream next week, Tuesday and Thursday as well. We want to wish you the best of luck uh, next week, but of course tonight. That sounds good. I thank, I thank you again for putting these on and, and making us uh, available to the Internet and everyone who can, can get out to the gym. But if you can, come out and watch. It's fun and exciting. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be, it, I agree. It's going to be a lot of fun here tonight, folks. So stay with us. We'll uh, come right back here with the uh, first match here, game one on the varsity side. For Dave Moraxa, this is Ken Manning saying stay tuned. Volleyball coming up from the Scenic Bluffs. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome here to Bangor. They're introducing the Brooklyn Falcons. We have Ellie Tiemann, Reagan Mullenkamp, Caitlin Lee, number nine. Emily Kunitz, number 13. Kinsley Holmquist, number Number 14, I think I mentioned. And uh, a junior in Ruby Mullenkamp. She will be the libero tonight. Your starting lineup for head coach Dave Moraxa. And Dave, of course, the first year uh, coach here for the uh, Falcons. Take a look here for Bangor. Aubrey Langer, Kennedy Hamilton, number four, sophomore and J.C. Machek, Maddie Schrader, and let's see, was that number? Freshman in Cadence Casara, Casara, the uh, libero tonight. All right, we're ready to go here. Another one of those starters I missed was uh, number 15 in Riley Liga. He's number 15. And uh, number eight was in there. I cannot tell. Oh, that was uh, Grace uh, Winthold. Could be Winthold as well. I'm not sure which way they say that one. The, uh, 
Bangor Cardinals, I think they are on the defensive side. Well, let's see here. No, I think they're going to be on the offensive side, maybe. Well, we'll see. No, I was right. They were on the defensive side. So Emily Kunitz will get the first opportunity here uh, in serving for the Falcons. Here's we get uh, game number one ready to go. Best of five. Kunitz waiting for the whistle. Thumbs up for everybody. There's the whistle. The serve and this matchup underway between two scenic bluffs foes. They have a pretty good rivalry going against each other. There's a hard shot. That was Mullenkamp. Good block in there. Partial block. Kunis sets the ball up. Mullenkamp again. Just a little bit off the mark as it goes out of bounds. Mullenkamp with a nice little set here by Kunitz. Dropping back to uh, serve here. That was uh, number eight in Windhold. And the ball hit into the net. Back we come. Here's the serve. Again, Winthold. Nice setup there. Partial block at the net. And uh, getting the point over there was Holmquist. Kunitz on the setup. Here is uh, Ruby. Make that Reagan Mullenkamp with the serve. I get them mixed up even if they have the white and black jerseys on. <laughs> Reagan with the, with the serve. Nice dig here by the Cardinals. Partial block at the net. Going up after that one was both Homequest and number 10 in uh, Callista Zimmerman. It's three serving two. Home team out in front. <clears throat> Serve to the back row to Zimmerman. Set up the ball and the play tipped at the net. Good job by Bangor on that one. Here comes Zimmerman with the shot. Down the far sideline for the point. And an excellent setup there by Kunitz. Dropping back, this will be Ruby. Monkamp ladies are juniors. Hard shot on the spin move. Coming right back. Yeah, they're going to call that a two-hit violation on the set. That came off from uh, number 10 in Langer. Mullenkamp with the serve again. Block at the net, but too much power. That one gets through by Langer. Four serving four. And now September, uh, September Harris comes in, number nine. Coming out of the ball game, I believe that was Langer. Look out pretty close to the net. It's going to be a point here for Bangor. They'll lead 5 4. Back to Zimmerman. Kunitz sets up. Tip play at the net. Good coverage by Harris. Keeping the play alive, they do. Bangor back on the defensive side. Kalista with a little tip play, Zimmerman, but Bangor was there. There's a tip, we're gonna get a foot fault. Coming across, uh, up high in the air was uh, Caitlin Lee. When she came down, her right foot was across the midline into the court of Bangor. That's a Violation. Here's Lee on the tap. Zimmerman, back corner, went to Winthold. Nice tip play there. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, that was a good one by Brookwood and uh, Ellie Tiemann. Now into the ball game. This is Mallory, or check that, Deanna Wallace. 
They'll set the ball up. Zimmerman blocked at the net. Tip play, and that'll be a point. Well, a couple of tips right there off in the hand of Abby Langer. Trying to cover, and it's six to six. Wallace again. Back row goes to Winthold. Cross court, Mullenkamp setting the ball up. Zimmerman brings it back. Mullenkamp sets up again. Another shot that's going to be out of bounds. Zimmerman with a couple of tries got it through on the second one. And it's seven serving six. Wallace with the lead for the Falcons. We're going to get an illegal hit, two hit violation there. 8 6 now. Lee comes out. Mullenkamp back in. There's the serve by Wallace to the back row. Here's a nice set from Harris. That was number five in Schrader. Far side it goes, it's just out of bounds. <coughs> Excuse me. Just missed the line. Serving here, that was uh, number five in Schrader. Free hit coming. Mullenkamp on the pass. They'll set it up. Zimmerman, too much on that one. A little too deep on the set. They're coming right back. Got to get this one over. They do. And capitalizing was Langer. Langer was right there and pushed the ball back to Mullenkamp, who was already trying to go in a different direction. But Ruby just couldn't quite get the, the hands on it the way she would have liked. Back row to Ruby. Good hit. Nice dig. Winthold with the punch. Tiemann moves the ball over to the far side. Cross court set. The big hit down this near sideline by Winthold. Winthold with some, some uh, pretty good power right there on the sideline. Blocked at the net. Oh, nice push reaction by Tiemann. There's a shot. Schrader with the hit. We saw her the other night at Cashton with some pretty good shots. She got one in right there. That ball will not get over the net. That was uh, Michek. Here's the serve. Free hit back. Good coverage. That was Zimmerman. Cross court hit. Oh, the left handed hit there by Mullenkamp. Partial block. Back to Ruby. Kunitz sets the ball up. Here comes Reagan down the line, and that'll be just out. Boy, that was close. Langer on the serve. That one goes into the net. Langer will come out of the ball game, and coming in is Liga. Here's Tiemann. She'll get an ace. Tiemann with an ace, and it's 11 apiece. Expect a five game match here tonight. Off the netting. Winthold down low. Can they get it over? Yes, they do. Kunitz with the nice play. Zimmerman saving it on that first hit. Twelve eleven. Tiemann, oh, into the net that time. Well, 
Well, thanks to a number of our sponsors. We'll be talking about them, mentioning them uh, along the way here. Uh, American Family Insurance, the Miranda Wright Agency helping us out. We thank Miranda in Westby and Viroqua. It's 13-12, Bangor now. That ball ricochets off from uh, Ruby Mullenkamp, and it's 14-12. Also want to say thanks going out to Barge Chiropractic Clinic, Dr. Chris Neely, supporting your body's healing power. 14-12, Mullenkamp on the pass. Kunitz sets the ball up. Big smash right there. Holmquist with the knockout punch on that one. Lee comes back in. Kunis back to serve. Nice dig over there by Michek. Now the ball returned though, it's gonna go into the net. And Brookwood has it tied up at 14 apiece. Back row hit, back set. There's Winthold. Far corner, what nice push by Homequest. Bangor got there. There's a block. Oh, now into the net. Might have been, uh, that was number nine in Caitlin Lee. She got just a little anxious to get up there for the block. That'll happen. There's a little tip play back over to Bangor. They'll set up and a huge shot there and a nice block off of Michek's shot. And now uh, Brookwood returns it and it drops in for the point. It's 15 apiece. Reagan will serve. Just got the ball over. Huge shot there. Not able to get it over Michek. That time anxious to get the smash and it goes into the net. Nice serve. Michek with the free hit back to Mullenkamp. Kunitz with the set. Here comes Zimmerman. She'll score the point. 17 serving 15. Trying to take charge here in game one. Both teams have been battling back and forth. Mullenkamp again, Reagan. Back row it goes, Michek trying to pass it over. Nobody got there and here comes a timeout. Brookwood out in front, 18-15. Here with the timeout by head coach Amy Olson. First timeout by the Cardinals of Bangor. Well, Carmen Fortune helping us out tonight. We appreciate Carmen your New Directions real estate expert bringing you the game tonight. Also the Bank of Cash and Scott Wall with friends supporting friends. The serve now off from the timeout. There's a hit going out of bounds. That was number three in Aubrey Langer. Foul, a foul ball I call that as it ricochets off. It's now 20 serving 15. Coming back into the uh, game one here, this is going to be number 10 in Abby Langer. She comes in for Liga. It goes to Langer. Michek with the uh, setup. L from the back row, Windhold. Put that one here in the corner. That was a pretty good hit. Mullenkamp on the dig. Zimmerman just got the ball over the net. Back set, look out, back row, it's in. <laughs> 17 serving 20 now. Serving here is Hamilton. That ball returned into the net. Mullenkamp and Zimmerman 
bumped into each other. Cardinals backed within two, 18-20. To Zimmerman, Kunitz, back row, the hit to the deep to Winthold. Bangor back on the attack, there it is. Michek coming up with it. And a timeout the other way. The Falcons take the timeout. It'll be 19 serving 20 when we come right back. Well, a couple more of those sponsors. How about Cash and Farm Supply? Ernie Peterson, your organic farming experts. Here's the serve. That was uh, Reagan. Ruby with the hit, it goes out of bounds. And it's knotted up at 20 apiece. Back row hit. Good dig. Back set. That was Winthold again, it looked like. There's a shot. Bangor still able to recover, and now they'll take the lead. Michek again with the point. Serving things up, it's Kennedy Hamilton. Gets the ball over to Ruby. Little tip play at the net. That was home quest. Kunitz. Mullenkamp pushes the ball to the far corner. On the attack, Michek again. And Brookwood trying to save it, they do. Bangor has to rethink things, it's out. Just missed that back line. And it's 21 apiece. Ruby Mullenkamp will get the ace. It clipped off the top of the netting and dropped in. 22-21. Hard hit back to Mullenkamp. Kunitz sets it up. Zimmerman with the hit. Nice dig here by Bangor. Battling back, back set. That was Lee. Bangor block at the net by Tiemann. Mullenkamp, Zimmerman blocked. Nice dig, Lee. Big save right there. Back row, it is just out. Reagan Mullenkamp trying to put it on the line in that far side, and she just missed. September Harris comes back in to serve here. She comes in for uh, Aubrey Langerer. Harris with the serve at 22 apiece. Kunitz, the high return, set up by Harris. Big shot, nice dig from Mullenkamp. Look out there. Yeah, that was an easy one to get by Maddie Schrader, or Schroeder, and another timeout. 23-22, Bangor. As we come back, Cashton Building Supply and CBS Designs right in downtown Cashton helping us out tonight. Kevin Kirking, and Courtney Cousy. Here's the serve, it's 23-22. Bangor trying to get to game point here. Brookwood sets the ball up. There's a big hit right there. Caitlin Lee was huge on that one. Back in comes number 11 in Wallace. Deanna to serve at 23 apiece. From the back row, Windhold. Free hit back, good job on the recovery. That was Kunitz. Tipped at the net. There's Mullenkamp on the set to Zimmerman. It's blocked. Zimmerman had it blocked. It came back, and uh, Reagan Mullenkamp, I'll tell you what, a diving save, but then it went out of bounds. Game point, 24-23. 
Pass to Ruby. Kunitz sets up. Pretty much an easy give me back to Bangor. That ball will not get over the net by Schrader. And now Brookwood has an opportunity here at 20, 24 apiece. Here comes Wintold. Oh boy, what a shot right there. That one coming right off the arm of Brookwood. Now game point again, 25-24. Wallace, Kunitz, got to get it over. It's a free touch. That was Schrader. Now Wintold. Nope, two hits. Tied it up, 25 apiece. Homequest comes in in the front row. Joining forces with uh, number seven here in Reagan Mullenkamp. Big serve right there. Free hit coming. Wallace, Kunitz sets the ball up. Uh, Mullenkamp, that'll be two hits. And it's 26-25. Brookwood with game point now. Tiemann with the serve. Moving the ball forward, back row hit, no. And it's a 27-25 win for Brookwood. And they'll change courts. 27-25, game one goes to Brookwood. Well, we come back to tonight's matchup. It's going to be game number two. Schrader with the opening serve to Ruby Mullenkamp. Zimmerman will go with the free hit back. Here comes a hard shot that was number three in Langer. Nice recovery here by Brookwood. My goodness. They'll set the ball up. Here comes Mullenkamp. That was Reagan tipped at the net. Wintold to the back row with Zimmerman. Kunitz sets it up one more time. A free touch by the Falcons. Cardinals coming up with a big hit, but Ruby Mullenkamp was there. Now a tip play by Homequest. There's Zimmerman, a partial block on Mullenkamp, but not able to control it. It goes down on the Cardinals side. Brookwood will get the first point here. It's one nothing. Game two. To the back row, that was Schrader. Here comes Wintold. Oh, what a dig there by Zimmerman. Off the arm. That was uh, Mullenkamp in Reagan with the hit. And I think it was Schrader up front there that had the partial block. Actually, it was number four in Hamilton. Mullenkamp, Kunitz sets the ball up. Big hit. Home quest dug out nicely by Liga. Now the ball going in the opposite direction here. Bangor will get the point and serve. It's should be two piece, I thought, but maybe they got one, two, so I must have been off by one. Over to Lega. Partial block. Nope. Home quest. That'll be an illegal hit. She had the right idea, but the ball was right on top of her. Went hold to serve. Wow, what a serve there. They're going to get the ball over. Falcons not giving up on it. There's a block. That was uh, Caitlin Lee with the block. Now Bangor battles right back, and that is going to be Langer and Aubrey with the point. Now it's 3 2. I think they're just a little slow getting that point up on the board. It was 2 to 2. Nobody could get to that as Ruby Mullenkamp tried to just pop it up into the air. Four serving two. Nice dig out there. Now Lee with the hit and she put a lot into that one and drove it out of bounds. 
Caitlin Lee with the hit well past the back row. Here comes the serve. That is Mullenkamp and Reagan drilled it. So she'll get the point. And uh, it's three serving five. Mullenkamp with the serve, Winthold with the pickup, and boy. Battling right back, that was number six in Michek. Six serving three. Hamilton with the serve. That's Zimmerman with the free hit. Set the ball up, blocked partially at the net, came back for Langer. Now Michek with the big shot. Brookwood saved that one. And the return goes deep off from Ruby Mullenkamp. Just a little too much on that one. Mullenkamp, Kunitz, Lee. I thought there was four. Brookwood's going to get the point. Tell you what, that's the tough one because uh, Bangor did a nice job of going up for the block, and then was it four hits or was it was it actually the block and then three more? That's what the officials are saying. Here's Mullenkamp at four serving seven. Back set, they'll push the ball over here. Really a great spot right there as uh, nobody in this near corner. That was Abby Langerer. Coon Valley Telecommunications serving Coon Valley, Chaseburg, and Stoddard, as well as Chaseburg Farmers Union Co-op. John Maslevichek and all that great crew helping us out. The serve goes deep here for the Cardinals, so Falcons will pick up a point an easy way, 5-8 with Wallace coming in. Wallace to Winthold, Harris with the setup. Trying to get the ball over, oh, just had enough on that one. Might have been teaming on that one. One of our new sponsors, the Bank of Ontario. We thank uh, Doreen and her great crew. Your Vernon County Bank. Whoa, there's a shot by Kunitz. She saw the door open up and said, I'm going to push this ball through there. Seven serving eight. Wallace with the serve over the far side again to Schrader. Kunitz sets the ball up. Zimmerman blocked at the net. He'll try again. Back corner it goes. Winthold was there. Kunitz, Zimmerman, tipped at the net by Langerer. That ball, oh, what a save there. Diving shot, Tiemann, nice dig by Harris. Still playable. Back and forth on these hard shots. Kunitz, back corner to Winthold. Harris, back set. That was Schrader. Blocked again. Mullenkamp, they got to go back here to the uh, near side. They did. Long, long volley. Back row. That was Hamilton. Can they get a point here? They're playing this one pretty well. Tip play at the net. Neither team given up. Oh, the hit from the back row. Mullenkamp, had, she had a good shot. It just went into the net. And Bangor, that was a terrific volley. Wow. Both teams trying to get the setup that they wanted. And that'll take the wind out of you for a moment. Nine serving seven. Schrader with the serve. There's Zimmerman, that'll be a point. Boy, 
She drilled it down this near sideline. Eight serving nine. That was uh, Schrader. Here's the pass. Winthold with the big dig. Back row goes Zimmerman. That's going to be too far. Tiemann wanted to just pop it over, and Bangor watched that one sail away. Ten serving eight. And again, coming up with it is Abby Langer. Ball and camp from the back row. She gets the point. Homequest comes back in. There's the serve. Schrader. Free return. Mullenkamp. And the block. It'll go to uh, Brookwood for the point. And boy, we're tied up again here now. I have no idea how many ties we had in that first game. We're knotted at 10 apiece. Liga with the return to Wallace. Big hit, Liga able to get to it. Wintold, far side, it's out of bounds. 11-10. Tiemann to serve again. That's to Liga. A free ball back to Wallace. Here's Kunitz. Got to go with the easy tip play. The set up a little too far away for Mullenkamp. Big cross court hit right there by Winthold. She had a great angle and drilled it. It's 11 apiece. Eagle Title Company, Lori Holti helping us out today. For your peace of mind, buying or selling. There's a shot by Mullenkamp and a nice job by Michek getting that ball back to a teammate. Deep shot by uh, Reagan Mullenkamp. Wintold again hanging in the air. Now it's Mullenkamp's turn and trying to save it, not able to do so. Wintold had it go into the net and coming across court was Hamilton. I thought she did a whale of a job just to get to it. 12 serving 11 for Kunitz. Back row it goes to Schrader. He'll set the ball up and whoa, look out there. Aubrey Langer with a huge hit. Winthold to serve now to Mullenkamp. Off the uh, referee stand. Thirteen serving twelve. Back row, Zimmerman. Here comes Mullenkamp. That'll be a point. She went down that far sideline with some uh, some authority there, and it's thirteen apiece. Mullenkamp to serve. Lega on the return. Just couldn't get it in the air enough. Michek gave it a good try to get to it. 14-13, Brookwood now. Big serve, oh, just got over the net. A line drive serve and it catches the net and then you never know what's gonna happen. It's 15-13. Tipped at the net, back set. There's a shot by Homequest, and here comes the timeout. 16-13, Brookwood with a three-point advantage. 16-13, the score here as we come back. Again, Mullenkamp uh, with the serve. There's a huge shot right there. 
Back it goes to uh, Bangor. They're going to try again. That'll score a point. That was uh, number three in Aubrey Langer. She's had a couple of hard shots like that. And now Hamilton will drop back to serve. And our thanks going out to Mark Evinger. Evinger's equipment, sales, and service in Viroqua on the north side. Michak, boy. Great reaction there. She got the setup and drilled the ball across the net. Fifteen serving sixteen now. Hamilton, high serve to Mullenkamp. Kunitz tipped at the net on the block. He had Langer and and uh, number three in Hamilton. Or check that. Excuse me, the two Langers. <laughs> Aubrey and Abby. That is going to go back to Bangor, and it's 16 apiece. Back row, Zimmerman. A shot, nice dig in the back row. That was Hamilton. And Brookwood not able to control that one. That ball kind of came right on top of, I think, Caitlin Lee. Hamilton with the serve once again, far side. Somehow, getting to that one was Reagan Mullenkamp. Here's Reagan again to the back row. Hamilton on the pass. Back row hit from Winthold, and Ruby was there. Now Zimmerman, and Bo just out. Just out, they're calling it. now, Bangor with the lead. Mullenkamp, Kunitz, there's a block right back at you. Michek, nothing gonna happen on on her watch right there. 19-16. Back row, Mullenkamp. Zimmerman to Mullenkamp again, and Ruby gets it over on the free pass. Big hit right there. You could see that one coming with Langer, and uh, Zimmerman able to get a hand on it, but that was it. Just a lot of power there, and we're going to get a timeout. Brookwood with the timeout. It's 620, serving 16. Bangor. Well, each team has used a timeout. Bangor with the advantage as they've hit 20. They're five points away from tying this match up at a game apiece. Back row, and nobody can get to it. That was Reagan Mullenkamp from the back row that took the hit. It was just an odd kind of ricochet, you might say, off from Bangor. Here's Ruby now. They're going to get a quick timeout. Looking for a towel here. Now they're ready to go in the serve. It's a short serve. Hamilton got up for. Then uh, Wintold hit a line drive to Ruby Mullenkamp and just couldn't control it. A pretty good line drive by Wintold. Here's Harris on the serve to Mullenkamp. Kunitz sets the ball up. And a big shot by Caitlin Lee, and she had too much on it. It carried past the back line, 22-17. Zimmerman, Kunitz, back row, hard hit there, my goodness. That was Reagan Mullenkamp. Wallace with the serve. Langer pushes the ball here to the near side. Brookwood coming right back, and Zimmerman will get the point.
Zimmerman went to the middle of the court. 19 serving 22, Wallace. Here's the good serve. That was Hamilton, or was that Michek maybe? I think more now that I look at it, it was Michek. Back to Michek. Wallace pops it into the air. Zimmerman trying to do the same. Went hold on the save. Michek with the shot. Michek passing the ball forward. Look out there, that is in. Right on the line for the point. Tell you what, Langer has got some steam on the ball when she hits it. There's Wallace, Kunitz. There's a shot by Zimmerman. I tell you what, these two teams, they just keep rocking each other. Twenty serving twenty-three for Zimmerman. Will not get over the net, and here's game point. Thanks going out to Hold Up Displays, another one of our new sponsors, lifetime warranty, and made right here in the USA. All right, let's take a look here. Game point coming up. It's Langer with the serve. Zimmerman now Kunitz. Setting the ball up, that'll be a point here for Brookwood as Reagan Monkamp will get the score. And Tiemann drops back to serve. There's the serve, it's gonna carry out, and that'll be it. 25-21 is your score here as Bangor comes back and ties this match up at a game apiece. Well, we just got game number three started up here, and a nice tip play here at the net by Hamilton for Bangor. They'll get the point and the serve. They'll take that quick lead here at one to nothing. Mullenkamp to Mullenkamp. Schrader with a big dig. There's Kunis punching the ball over. And there's a shot by Abby Langer. They set that one up for her just about as well as you could ask. One, two to nothing now. Grace Wintold puts that one into the net. Here's Reagan, serve to Liga. Hamilton sets it up. Nope, they're gonna say a two hit violation there. Well, another one of our fine sponsors, Miles of Smiles Child Care Center in Westby. Illegal hit. And now Brookwood has the lead at 3-2. Served into the net, or returned into the net, but a nice shot playing off that. And then Zimmerman, she smacks one down the middle, splitting the defense. Ball tipped at the last moment by Bangor, and Brookwood has a 5-2 advantage here in game number three. And a quick timeout here by Bangor. Reagan Mullenkamp will continue to serve here. Over to Lega. Hamilton sets the ball up. Oh, a block at the net by Holmquist. Came out of nowhere on that one. Six-two now. 
That was, that was Michek. Nice shot by Hamilton. Back set. Lee. Able to save it in the back row. There's a big play off the net. Can they do it? Not quite. And Bangor will get the lead, uh, excuse me, will get the uh, serve here at 3-6. This is Hamilton now to serve. Caitlin Lee trying to get a shoestring tied up just a tad bit tighter. The ball ricocheted right off the nose of Ruby Mullenkamp. Kunitz on the setup, Zimmerman, yes. Got the point on that one. Tiemann back in. Holmquist comes out. Mullenkamp to serve. Nice back set here. And Langer, she knew what to do with that setup. Painted the line there. And it's five serving seven as Harris comes in to serve. We know we're going to play at least um, four games tonight. We're knotted at one apiece. Oh, what a tip right there on the block. Who was that? That was, uh, is that Schrader? No, that was Abby Langer again. Boy, I tell you what, she just, Took that ball straight down. 6-7 to serve. Kunis, short set. And it's playable. Very nice job there by Bangor. Brookwood again looking to try and come up with something, but not able to do so. A block by Tiemann, but it goes on the wrong side. It stayed on. The Falcon side and not to the Cardinal side. It's seven apiece. That ball, a terrific serve. That was, had a top spin on it and was falling right at the feet of Zimmerman. It's eight serving seven. Bangor now with the lead. Zimmerman again. Little tip play at the net. Nice job by Bangor to get that. That was Michek. And then a shot over here by uh, Schrader. It went into the net. It's eight apiece. Wallace to serve as Caitlin Lee comes out. Schrader pushing the ball over. Brookwood does the same. Michek with the hit, blocked at the net. Tiemann and Kunitz were there. Nine serving eight. Pass by Wintold. There is Schrader. That goes into the net. And now Brookwood has a two point advantage over Bangor, eight, 10 serving eight. Wallace, back row, that was Hamilton. Here's Winthold. Kunitz sets the ball up, that's gonna be in. Eleven eight. Well, Mr. Ducks, for a fun, relaxing time with tubing, canoeing, or kayaking on that great Kickapoo River. There's a play, ricochets off. 12-8 now. We're gonna get uh, Liga to come back in. Comes in for Hamilton. There's the serve. Wintold. Blocked at the net, pushed back over by Langer, oh, nice job there. 
That was Schrader and also uh, Langer, and I think it was Langer who had the big block, the junior. Nine serving 12. That ball not gonna get over the net. Michek tried to just lob it over and it just missed. 13 serving nine for Zimmerman. That was a huge shot by Windhold. Holy smokes, did she get a hold of that one. And it's 10 serving 13. Langer on the serve. Here's Kunitz setting the ball up. And that'll be a point for the Falcons and Reagan Mullenkamp with the big spike. Here's Tiemann to the back row. That was Michek. Now Hamilton, who's back into the game. That's going to be in by Holmquist. She went deep to the back line and she dropped it in front of it. Fifteen serving ten. Into the net it goes. Eleven serving fifteen now. Just got a hold of that one. Liga is going to save it. Good job there. Back to Mullenkamp. Here comes uh, Reagan with the hit. Lega there again. Windhold, I tell you what, she has been red hot here in this game. Getting some excellent shots in, and now it's 12 15. And a timeout, Brookwood. 15-12, Bangor. Well, 12-15 the score here. Bangor trying to come back again. There's a shot down the line, and it's going to be in by Mullenkamp. Caitlin Lee is coming back into the uh, game. Wallace comes out. 16 serving 12 for Kunitz. Gets the ball across. Blocked at the net and wow. Holmquist got up and blocked it. And I think touched it a second time to get the point. Pass back over to Wintold. She gets it over on a free pass. Here comes Brookwood again. This time Mullenkamp gets a point as the ball ricochets off from uh, Liga. I don't know if you say Liga or Liga. I know I do it both ways. I hope one of them is right. 18-12. We're going to get a four hit violation on the Bangor side. It's 19 12. A good serve to the back row. Liga. Big dig right there. Now Brookwood's got to try and answer back, and that's just out. Just missed on the back line here. Zimmerman from the back row. Coming out of the ball game. Somehow snuck in there. That was Camden Liga. That's going to drop in. Boy, what a save and point here for Bangor. It's 14-19. 
I think I've been saying uh, the libero is actually uh, Meacham, I believe. So I think I might have been saying her name. I know I've been saying her name wrong. Allison Meacham is the libero, number 16. So I apologize to uh, Allison. I was calling her uh, Liga tonight. I think I got it. Hopefully I got it straight. There's a block. Boy, got to get it over. They do. That one goes to Michek. Big shot. Look out there. That could have been trouble. Comes Zimmerman. That's going to be in. Twenty-one fourteen, Brookwood, and a timeout, Bangor. Seven-point advantage for the Falcons. Well, another one of our sponsors, Nordic Lane Scott and Sue Sordal, helping us out as that serve goes out of bounds. We appreciate Nordic Lanes, along with Premier Co-op since 1893, serving our agricultural communities. And don't forget the River Bank in Westby on the south side and Coon Valley in downtown Coon Valley. There's a huge hit by Zimmerman again. And it's 21, 22, 15. Homequest comes out of the game. There's a floater. And that's going to be a point here as... Ruby Mullenkamp comes up with the point. She'll try again, 23-15. Meacham comes back into the game. Coming out was Hamilton. There's a big hit. Oh, just too much on it by Langer. Now game point. Here's Winthold. Langer on the hit, that'll be a point. Tell you what, both uh, the Langer ladies, Aubrey and Abby, they got, they got a good swing. Here's Harris, this is close to the net, look out, yep. Langer made the uh, short work of that one. The pass back to the front uh, or, you know, towards the netting, and it was too far over. That's into the net. That'll be the game. 25-17 is your score here as Brookwood picks up the win in game three. Two games to one advantage. We'll go to game four. Here we go with game number four. Brookwood with a two games to one advantage. And uh, they're going to get... Kind of an easy point here on that one. The serve is going to go out, so they'll return the favor, I guess. One apiece. Scenic Bluffs Community Healthcare helping us out tonight. Of course, the corporate office in Cashton with all kinds of great care for you. There's a hard hit. Bangor. Able to make it work. Good job by both teams on their reaction. Big shot. Meacham on a save. Back to Lee. That might have been Homequist on the hit. Now Zimmerman. Kunitz on the set. That was going to be a shot. Oh, it just got over by Schrader. Or was, I gotta look here, tell you what, they're number five and number six. That was Meacham actually, or excuse me, Meachek with that one. There's uh, Reagan, Mullenkamp, just punched that one over and it fell between the defense. Two apiece here. A big game here for both teams. Bangor needs it to stay alive and force game five. That's in. Meanwhile, Brookwood could get out of here with a three games to one win. 
match win if they pick up game four. So they're going to see a very intense matchup here, I think, once again. Wintold. There's a shot. It's going to be blocked. You had Holmquist and Zimmerman there. That was Langer trying to pop it over. Sealand's Carpetland. Stop in and check out all that they have to offer. When it's time to renovate your home or if you're building a new one, all oh, great flooring. That ball is just going to fly out. Harris back into the ball game. She comes in for Langer. That's not going to get over the net. Kunis tried to punch the ball. And now it's going to be a 5-3 advantage for Bangor. Big serve, Mullenkamp wound up on the ground and now Tiemann and Mullenkamp collided. And it's 6-3. That ball is gonna be in. Just caught the line. Now it's 7-3. Mullenkamp digging that one out. Here comes Zimmerman, too much on that one. Nobody touched it, it goes out of bounds. Harris continuing to serve here at 8-3. That's going to fly out. Ruby will serve now. Check that. That was Wallace into the game. That's going to fly out by Langer. Taking a look at those sponsors, Sleepy Hollow. Thanks to that Sleepy Hollow crew. They service what they sell. Big block there by Bangor. Nearly another one. Back set. That was Schrader. Tip play at the net by Langer. A good misdirection play right there by Langer. Michek with the serve. Tipped at the net and now going the other way. Wintold went down after it and the ball really flew in the wrong direction. It is now six serving nine, Wallace. Schrader hits that one into the net, 7-9. Vernon Electric Cooperative helping us out tonight with that affordable electrical energy. That's going to be in. Boy, a beautiful shot right there by Winthold. Coming over here to the near corner, dropped it in. Langer on the serve to Wallace. Here's Kunitz. Teeman with the softer hit that time around. He'll set up again. Here's a big shot, but it flies out of bounds. Trying to hang in the air, but Reagan not able to get 
the downward shot on it. Blocked at the net here, it's gonna pop off. Tiemann went up for the block, couldn't control it. Another hard hit by the Falcons. 12-7. Over to Mullenkamp. Kunitz sets up, here's Reagan with the partial block over there by Schrader. Bangor kept it alive. Now it's up to Brookwood. Oh, found the line right down here on this near sideline. It might have been, might have been uh, Liga who thought the ball was going to be out. Instead, it was well in and down the sideline. That ball into the net. Yep, four hits. 9-12, Brookwood trailing. Tiemann, Wintold, free touch back over to the Falcons. Here comes uh, Reagan again. Got to get it over, Wintold does that. Solid play. Nobody there after the bump, and it's 13-9. Harris comes out, Langer comes in. That shot down this near sideline to Wallace. Mullenkamp, oh, good reaction right there by Langer. Kunitz sets the ball up, and nobody's gonna get to it. Reagan Mullenkamp with some power on that one. Kunitz dropping back to serve now. Holmquist comes into the match, into the game. Easy little tip right there by Mullenkamp. Defense was out of sorts. Timeout. Bangor. It's 11 serving 13 when we come back. Emily Kunis will continue to serve our thanks to the VFW of Viroqua on the south side. Friday night fish, one of their specialties. Back row goes, that was a nice shot by Liga. Now Meacham and oh, into the net. Just not able to get to it and get a good bump. Meachek comes in, Meacham comes out. Back row, that was Michek. Partial tip. They got it over just in time. Good reaction for the Falcons. Oh, and then Langer just nailed it. And it's 14-12. Ball went way down the hallway. They had to go chasing after that. Viroqua Booster Club helping us out tonight, thanks to that great crew. Lee hit that one under the net. Just didn't get the swing that she wanted. 15 to 12 now. Wintold to serve again. Zimmerman on a nice pass. Little tip play. Langer saved that one. That was uh, Michek. There's a partial block and it drops down. Michek and Hamilton went up for the block and it got past them. 13-15. Reagan Mullenkamp with the serve. That just got over. Meacham on a nice little dig. Back row hit. Winthold. Kunitz sets up. Look out. There we go with one, but a nice save by Winthold again. Very tough. 
Lee, back row, it's gonna be out. Sixteen thirteen. Here's Hamilton. Back row. Pretty good shot. And a nice spin move play by Michek. That was Mullenkamp and Schrader not able to control it. Skipping off her arm. And it's 14-16 for Ruby Mullenkamp. Bouncing around. Free hit coming. Got it over. Oh, a miss hit there. And tell you what, Michek was right there. She just, it just took a really odd hit off her fingers. There's Mullenkamp now again with the serve. It's 15 16. Back row to Mullenkamp. Kunitz sets the ball up. Zimmerman blocked. They saved it. It's in. Holy smokes, what a play there. That's just, you know, you just react. It's not something you plan for. 16 apiece. Meacham on the pass. Back row, Mullenkamp, Kunitz. Here is Lee with the hit. Free touch back over to the Falcons. They'll try again. Tip play, left-handed touch by Zimmerman. Blocked by Zimmerman and Tiemann. That's gonna work. Caitlin Lee with the hit. She picks up the point. Barocco Dental Center, Dr. Lee Ann Klum hopes to see you soon. Give them a call on the north side of Viroqua. Little tip at the net, look out there, punching it over, no. It is uh, 17 apiece now. Broke uh, Vasateg Funeral Home. Thanks to Gina and Justin and all the crew. Since 1970, Bossetag Funeral Home. Well, Zimmerman pulled the old uh, change of roo, so to speak. She came over here to the near side, misdirection, and picked up the point. 18 serving 17 for Wallace. Meacham. Good hit there into the ball game number seven in uh, Aaron Jones. I didn't see her slip in there. That was a tip at the net by Langer. Bangor gets it back over. Here comes another touch. Oh, right back on top. Can they save it? They did. That was a tough play. Wallace just got a little bit on that one by Mullenkamp. And now a miss hit by Jones and it's now 1917 timeout Bangor. Brookwood out in front by two. Thanks going out to the Westby Co-op Creamery. Be sure to take home that country goodness, downtown Westby. 1917, Wallace with the serve to the back row to Meacham. Harris sets the ball up. Big hit right there, coming up by Schrader. Schrader drops back now to serve at 18-19. Yeah, just like a couple of heavyweights going at it here. Ruby, uh, Ruby Mullenkamp from the back row. Harris sets up, here's Winthold, nope, into the net. 
Well, our thanks to the Westby Co-op Credit Union supporting today's broadcast. We thank them for their wonderful support as well as all of our sponsors, nine locations in our area. Here is the serve, not able to control it. Ball goes off to the uh, Bangor crowd side of things. And it's 21-18. Serve coming down to Wintold. It's a free pass back to the Falcons. Tiemann, whoa. Tiemann hit that one with some authority. And it's 22-18. Zimmerman again, back row Meacham. Here's a setup for Winthold and she drilled it. Mullenkamp was there. Coming right back, oh. They let that one slip by. There was an opportunity for a point. That's 19-22. The serve by Langerer. Mullenkamp coming back. It's going to hit the ceiling. It's now 23-19. Holmquist back in. Free touch by Liga. Will set up Mullenkamp. That'll be a point. And now it's game point. Tiemann to serve, game point, 24-19. That just got over, there it is. 25-19 is your final score here. And Brookwood is gonna come away with the win. They pick up a win in game one. 27-25, it was just a great game. Then 25-21, Bangor. Brookwood comes back for the final two, 25-17, and you just saw 25-19 to pick up the win. Thanks again to all those terrific sponsors. You'll see them in that, you've seen them in the lower corner of the screen. We uh, can't thank them enough for their help in bringing you the action here tonight. We hope that you've enjoyed the Sneak Bluffs contest here from Bangor. Ken Manning, Western Wisconsin Video Production saying so long for now. Brookwood with the win, three games to one.